EV expert Sandy Monroe once remarked that solid-state batteries are the kiss of death for gasoline and diesel, meaning they pose a significant threat to Tesla's 4680 batteries. With the superior power of solid-state batteries, Toyota is confident it can regain its lost position from Elon Musk, boasting a range of 700 miles and a full charge in 10 minutes. If these criteria are met, solid-state battery cells will be a major breakthrough. However, solid-state batteries still face a significant issue. So between Tesla's 4680 batteries and Toyota's solid-state batteries, who's going to be king? Tesla is achieving rapid production progress with a 4680 battery, producing around 140,000 cells per day at the Giga Texas facility. Currently, with Toyota's solid-state batteries not yet on the market, the 4680 battery remains the best available exclusively from Tesla, with no worthy competitors to make Elon Musk truly concerned. But let's imagine the scenario when solid-state batteries hit the market. Will the 4680 become overshadowed? Let's compare them now. We think we should still understand the concept of these two batteries first, because that is the root of the problem. We will explain as briefly as possible. First is the solid-state battery. This is still a battery with four components, anode, cathode, plastic polymer separator, and electrolyte solution. However, what makes it a breakthrough to be considered the 4680 killer is the transition from a liquid electrolyte solution to a solid electrolyte solution. Liquid electrolyte solution is found in any other lithium-ion battery. That's the knowledge of solid-state batteries. We think you have understood it. Meanwhile, the 4680 battery was first announced by Elon in September of 2020 and set to begin production the following year. The Tesla 4680 battery remains a cylindrical lithium-ion type with a diameter of 46 mm and a height of 80 mm. The cathode of the 4680 is predominantly nickel, making up 81.6%, with the remaining 20% consisting of lithium and cobalt. The anode uses silicon instead of graphite, and the cell's characteristics indicate very good technical specifications. But that's not all. What makes the 4680 battery even more special is its use of a tabless electrode design, which eliminates the tabs that connect the two poles of the battery. This design helps increase energy density, reduce internal resistance, and simplify the manufacturing process. Both batteries are constructed using technologies that significantly impact energy density. Solid-state batteries with solid electrolytes still need to efficiently conduct lithium ions between flexible cathodes and anodes. On the other hand, the 4680 battery features a structural design and composition that swiftly affects the lithium transport process. So, who will win in energy density? There's no denying that the race in modern battery technology is increasingly fierce, with energy density being the foremost factor driving competition. High energy density means batteries can store more energy in the same volume or weight. Therefore, electric vehicles can travel longer distance before needing to recharge. In the Tesla 4680 battery, the energy density has reached 244 to 296 watt-hours a kg, compared to 200 watt-hours per kg in a typical lithium battery, which means it has improved the energy density by more than 20%. Tesla announced that the 4680 battery will increase the range of electric vehicles by 16%, and combined with the cells-to-chassis technology, the packaging technology helps increase the range of vehicles by 14%. Finally, we will have nearly a 30% range improvement. For easy illustration, consider this example. In the case of a Tesla Model 3 with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack using traditional LFP batteries, it would typically achieve a range of about 350 miles or 560 kilometers and weighs approximately 4,000 pounds or 1,800 kilograms. However, if this sedan were equipped with a battery pack of the same size but utilizing 4680 cells, it could potentially achieve a range of around 406 miles or 653 kilometers and the weight cut to approximately 3,600 pounds. This means that the 4680 battery can store more energy per unit volume or weight compared to other types of batteries, resulting in longer driving ranges and lower battery weights for electric vehicles. Currently, Tesla is only using the 4680 battery for the Cybertruck, and the performance for this pickup truck is also extremely impressive. So what about the energy density of Toyota's solid-state battery? While Tesla's 4680 battery pack only aims to surpass most of its competitors' electric vehicles in terms of performance, Toyota is determined to have an electric vehicle with a range comparable to internal combustion engine vehicles with solid-state batteries. You know, with these things that haven't been released, whatever the manufacturer announces is assumed to be true. According to our understanding, Toyota plans to increase the energy density of solid-state batteries to more than double the energy density of current lithium batteries by 2025, reaching 450 watt-hours a kg. This advancement would allow for storing more energy with the same weight, 
If the Japanese automaker achieves this ambition, it means the energy density of solid-state batteries will be 1.8 times higher than that of the 4680. Consequently, it suggests that the driving range of Toyota's electric vehicles using solid-state batteries will increase significantly compared to Tesla's EVs. If you look on the internet, Toyota plans to use solid-state EV batteries with a range of 750 miles, which means 1,200 kilometers. With this range, Toyota is confident that it'll catch up with Tesla in an effort to regain its lost position. Especially, the Japanese electric car manufacturer also wants to prove that Tesla's 4680 battery is not something to be proud of. Most recently, we also received some sources saying that Toyota is also planning to develop solid-state batteries for EVs with a range of up to 923 miles, equivalent to 1,500 kilometers. It's hard to believe, but if this happens, Tesla could be in big trouble. From a scientific perspective, it's evident that solid-state batteries have the potential to dominate the market in the future over Tesla's 4680 battery, mainly due to their significantly superior energy density. However, it's crucial to understand that higher energy density in batteries doesn't necessarily mean faster charging times. So, how do the charge times of the 4680 battery and Toyota's solid-state battery stack up against each other? Regarding charging speed, according to insiders at Toyota, the prototype solid-state battery has a clear advantage over current lithium batteries in terms of charging speed ranging from 0 to 100% in just 15 minutes. Therefore, customer concerns about hours-long charging times may soon be a thing of the past with solid-state batteries. Toyota's promised charging time is nearly comparable to the LFP cells from Shenzhen recently announced by Kata, which boast extremely fast charging speeds. However, in our opinion, Toyota solid-state batteries have more trouble achieving these charging speeds. While most batteries can be fast charged at at least a few times, applying a lot of power is very harsh on them. This is why the trickle chargers found in many people's garages are surprisingly slow. If someone fast charges their battery frequently, the internal structure of the battery tends to fail after a disappointingly short time. All lithium-ion batteries suffer from dendrite formation, but this happens very quickly in solid-state batteries. Dendrites are like branch formations that can spread between batteries' electrodes, causing them to short-circuit. Until now, it was a mystery how soft lithium dendrites could penetrate through the hard layer of the solid electrolyte. To put it simply, frequent fast charging will cause solid-state batteries to short-circuit easily, reducing battery performance faster than a regular lithium battery with a stable charging rate. So is the 4680 Tesla battery better? With a 4680 Tesla battery, we found that the anode and cathode terminals of the 4680 battery use full polarity tabs, which means that the full polarity tabs will greatly increase the path of the current and make it easier for the electrons to move inside the electrons. That makes the internal resistance of the 4680 battery only one-fifth that of the 2170 battery. Therefore, the estimated charging speed of the 4680 battery will be many times faster than a conventional lithium cell. According to the actual test report, it only takes 20 minutes to charge the 400 volt 4680 battery system to 60%. In the case that the 4680 battery is combined with an 800 volt voltage system, the charging speed will be many times faster. Currently, the Cybertruck using the 4680 battery pack achieves a 40-minute charging speed from 10 to 80% with a fairly large battery pack, 123 kilowatt hours. Previously, in addition to the Cybertruck, a few Tesla Model Ys were also equipped with a 4680 battery pack and provided incredible charging times. One owner drove the SUV to a supercharger station in California when the car was completely out of battery and couldn't move it any further. In just 32 minutes, the car was charged to 80% of its battery capacity via a 250 kilowatt charger. It's undeniable that the charging speed promised by Toyota's solid state batteries has yet to surpass Tesla's 4680 cells. This could make impatient customers less enthusiastic about waiting for electric vehicle charging times to become more enjoyable. However, that's not the whole story. If you desire a longer battery lifespan and safety, Tesla's 4680 cells have an advantage over solid state batteries due to their stable charging speed. Toyota's solid-state battery seems to have two pretty good advantages to surpass the 4680 Tesla. Both energy density and charging time are enough to top the entire industry, but in the end, the cost to produce this type of battery is a nightmare for manufacturers, even a factor preventing it from launching on the market. So, why are solid-state batteries so much more expensive than Tesla's 4680 cells? Talking about a not-yet-launched battery technology being more expensive than a widely produced type of battery may seem contradictory at first glance. However, considering the significant delay since the initial mention of solid-state battery development back in 2020, now nearly five years ago, it still doesn't exist. From what we understand, solid-state batteries do not completely eliminate lithium. In fact, some research suggests that solid-state batteries can use lithium in amounts that are 5 to 10 times higher than that in 4680 batteries. 
The price of Toyota's solid-state batteries is estimated to range from 800 US dollars per kilowatt hour to 400 US dollars per kilowatt hour by 2027. With liquid electrolyte batteries currently costing around $156 a kilowatt hour, that creates a significant manufacturing cost issue. Toyota's solid-state battery is expensive because it's been reported that the battery uses no liquid electrolyte to transfer energy from the cathode to anode, or vice versa. There has to be a solid electrolyte to take its place. Materials for this type of technology are scarce and very expensive. On top of that, there's no standardization material that's used in the manufacturing process and no standardized process in which they're made. This makes them extremely hard to mass produce. Some estimates put solid-state batteries at three, four times the price of traditional lithium-ion batteries. These costs can add up when you're talking about a vehicle that can already cost as much as $200,000 for a top-of-the-line model. Are the savings worth the added mileage and faster charging? That's for the consumer to decide, and presumably, they're going to get their chance. Meanwhile, Tesla's 4680 battery, leveraging a production process controlled by Tesla, aims to reduce costs significantly. The company forecasts a 56% reduction in costs per kilowatt hour and a 69% reduction in capital investment per kilowatt hour. Although specific cost details for the 4680 battery are not disclosed, analysts predict current prices ranging from $114 to $170 per kilowatt hour. Elon has set future goals to scale 4680 battery production to 1,000 gigawatt hours per year with costs potentially dropping to $70 a kilowatt hour, a challenging but ambitious target. Tesla continues to push forward aggressively and has achieved surprising speed in this endeavor. According to Tesla's VP, Lars Moravi, the company expects their 4680 battery cells to become cheaper by the end of the year by reducing the cost to nickel suppliers. Now, for safety, which battery technology is considered safer for electric vehicles? Tesla's 4680 battery is highly regarded for its safety due to several prominent advantages. Firstly, its simple design eliminates tab connections, reducing the risk of short circuits and enhancing system stability. Secondly, the thicker steel shell provides better protection for the battery cells against impacts and vibrations, thereby increasing durability and safety. Finally, the integrated cooling system of the 4680 batteries helps efficiently control temperature, minimizing the risk of combustion. However, this isn't the biggest advantage of the durability that the 4680 battery provides. Perhaps you didn't know, due to its higher mechanical durability, the 4680 battery is better suited for cell-to-chassis technology. Specifically, Tesla has eliminated the battery pack lid on the 4680 cell, increasing space utilization. In terms of manufacturing costs, must mention that after implementing the integrated CTC Plus mold casting technology, it could save 370 parts, reduce vehicle body weight by up to 10%, and lower battery costs per kilowatt hour by 7%. On the other hand, Toyota's solid-state battery technology is also considered a safe battery technology because transitioning from the liquid electrolyte of lithium-ion batteries to a solid electrolyte helps reduce the risk of leakage. In lithium-ion batteries, the liquid electrolyte allows lithium ions to move between the positive and negative electrodes during the charge and discharge cycles. However, like any other liquid, this electrolyte layer is sensitive to temperature changes. You might have seen batteries swell in the middle or even leak some electrolyte fluid. That's really bad. If the electrolyte vaporizes or leaks out, it can create a short circuit between the positive and negative electrodes, potentially leading to fires or explosions. If that starts to happen under your car's floor, you're in for a really bad day. So in summary, Toyota's shift to using solid electrolytes will make electric vehicle safety much less risky. With the initial development of solid-state batteries, Toyota researchers have emphasized maintaining temps between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius for optimal performance and expect to surpass these figures as they upgrade to more heat-resistant electrolytes. Real-world tests comparing solid-state batteries and lithium-ion batteries of the same volume have shown that solid-state batteries have relatively low flammability and relatively high electrochemical stability. However, as mentioned earlier, solid-state batteries are prone to rapid and more frequent dendrite formation compared to the 4680 battery, which poses a challenge. Additionally, recent tests have indicated that they can still catch fire when severely crushed or punctured. This means that even with solid-state batteries in electric vehicles, if a serious accident occurs and the battery pack experiences a significant impact, the risk of fire remains present. Tesla's new 4680 battery cell represents a significant advancement. Not only is the cell larger, but its internal structure is also distinct. Meanwhile, solid-state batteries have long been touted as a great application to unlock the potential of electric vehicles. 
with their lighter weight, higher efficiency, and faster charging times compared to lithium-ion batteries, solid-state technology is being heavily promoted. Toyota alone holds over 1,600 related patents in solid-state battery technology, underscoring their success once again in the laboratory. But how does that become a viable and achievable means? The answer is probably certain. Currently, most car manufacturers have plans to introduce solid-state battery electric vehicles to the market by the end of this decade or later. This leaves ample time for speculation and bold claims without any specific support for them. At this point, most people are all aware that electric vehicles are expected to have longer lifespans than traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. Currently, governments require electric vehicles to have warranties of 8 years or 100,000 miles. California has gone further, setting requirements of 10 years or 150,000 miles. Toyota plans to maintain over 90% solid-state battery efficiency after 30 years of use. If this technology can be realized sooner rather than later, the cycle efficiency will exceed Tesla's million-mile battery capacity. Meanwhile, the Tesla 4680 battery is predicted to achieve a lifespan of over 1 million miles, equivalent to 16 years of use if driven an average of 40,000 miles per year, and depending on maintenance levels. We hope this information is accurate. However, this is only a prediction based on initial test data, and actual lifespan may vary depending on several factors. Usage factors such as fast charging, high-speed driving, and harsh climate conditions can reduce battery life. Proper maintenance, including software updates and regular checkups, can help extend battery life. Additionally, environmental factors like extreme temperatures can also impact battery lifespan. The debate between solid-state batteries and Tesla's 4680 will ultimately take some time to get to a final answer. Electric vehicle batteries are complex, and it's still unclear which technology will meet the needs in the market. Some love a battery pack that offers superior performance, but the majority of others prefer cheaper battery packs instead of expensive ones. While the 4680 is the top choice for Tesla and is expected to be applied in many Tesla models in the future, Toyota is still focusing on accelerating the launch of solid-state batteries by 2027 with many promises to change the game. In addition, many other battery technologies such as sodium ion batteries, LFP, solar batteries, also have similar improvements. So, what do you think about the 4680 Tesla battery and the Toyota solid state battery? Which one will win the race? Drop a comment below. We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.